Hey, what's up, people of God? I pray that you are continuing to persevere, man, in this thing called life. I thank God for another day and another opportunity to dwell into his presence. You know what? We're getting ready to go into the word of God, and I pray that the word of God is going to bless you in a unique way, man. This week's persevering word is a thought that I want to bring out, and it is titled True Commitment. True Commitment. It's just simple and plain. You know what? God requires commitment because he gives us his total commitment. He gives us his faithfulness and then his faithfulness, his faithfulness is so great that we tend to take it for granted. And that's something that we cannot afford to do. Man, God is good at what he does. He's awesome at what he does. And he requires that from us. God wants us. God, God, God wants our commitment. God wants our dedication. And you see, he not only wants it when we give it to him. Man, God is so awesome and he's so great to give some things to us. And so let's get so let's get ready to go into the book of Proverbs chapter number three chapter number sixteen. I'm sorry. Chapter number sixteen, verse number three. Sixteen and three. It reads, Commit your actions to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. That's the new living. Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will will succeed. You see, when we totally commit our actions, our lifestyle. The things uh, that, that God requires for us to do takes commitment. And when we do that, God says, I have something for you. There are some things that I require of you, but at the same time, there are some things that I'm going to bless you with. But uh, in order for you to receive the blessings, he says you have to commit yourself. And you see, God is wanting commitment. God is wanting that act of committing, that pledging, that engagement towards him. God is wanting the faith, the God, faithfulness. God is wanting the dedication. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that because we as, we as created beings of God, you know, we want it to. We, we want someone that's dedicated. We want someone that's faithful. We want someone that's committed only to us. And that's what commitment is about. Commitment is totally giving yourself to that person, place, or thing. And God says, I have shown you this. God says, I have displayed this, this to you every day. And he says, I require this of you. And not only that I require it, I'm going to, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make sure that you're well taken care of. Why? Because you're totally committed to me. People of God, you know, we have to be totally committed. Because he says, I'm going to bless and I'm going to make sure that your plans are going to be successful because of your commitment to me. Because of your dedication to me. Because of your faithfulness to me. You see, it starts with God. Commit your ways to the Lord. That's what the scripture says. Commit your ways to the Lord, not to man. Commit your ways to the Lord, not the system. Commit your ways to the Lord, not the government. Commit your ways to the Lord and not the lust. Commit your ways to the Lord and not sin. Commit your ways to God. He says, and then I'm going to make sure that your plans are successful. People of God, man, you can't leave. I mean, you can't lose out when you're serving the almighty God. You can't, lo you can't lose when Christ is living in you. You can't lose when you're walking by the Spirit. When you're totally committed because you have to realize that, that the ultimate goal is there for those that are committed. Stay committed because the scriptures don't lie. He says, I am going to make sure that your plans will be successful. And when you're committed to God, you're not going to ask for anything that you can't handle. You know, you're not going to go to God with something stupid as if as if God is stupid and God don't know you. The Bible says that God knows us better than, than, he, than we know ourselves. God knows your inner, your out, your ins, your, your, uh, uh, your, your lows, your highs. He says, I know you, so don't come to me. And ask for something that you know good and well, that you, you know good and well you can't handle. Be committed because when you're committed, your mind, your thoughts are as God. Because now you're not living for yourself, but you're living for him. And so he says, if your plans, if you want your plans to be successful, just commit yourself to me. Watch, watch Psalms 37, go into Psalms 37 and 5. Psalms 37 and 5 says, commit everything. There's the word again. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him. There's the word right there. We have to trust. The Bible says to trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Trust. You can't be committed if you're not trusting. You know, you can't be dedicated.
it if you're not trusting. And that's one, and that's one of our problems in society today that we want to do whatever it is that we want to do. We want to go wherever it is that we want to go. We want to, uh, we want to act in ways that, that, that we don't want to be held accountable for because there is no trust anymore. We don't trust in God like we should. We don't believe in God like we should. We don't call upon God like we should. We tend, we want to handle things our ways. We want to handle stuff the way we want to ha- we in the way in which we want to handle it. But it don't work that way. The Bible says for us to trust in him. Why? Because he is the creator. He is the sustainer. He is the one that creates it all. And it says it in the scriptures in the scriptures, trust him and he will help you. Trust in him and he will help you, people of God. That's what total commitment is all about. It's giving yourself to God. It's trusting in him. And God will make sure that your plans succeed. God will help you because it is him that does it all and not we ourselves. Stay totally committed to God and watch what God will do for you in your life. Someone that don't have that relationship with Jesus Christ, I pray that you call upon the name of Jesus and watch Jesus come into your life. Jesus will transform you. Jesus will equip you. He will shape and mold you into the woman or the man of God that you have been predestined to be. All you do is call on him, acknowledge him, and watch what he'll do. He will give you the strength to persevere through this thing called life in a way in a way in which you've never thought before. And I guarantee you, when you trust in him, he will never let you down. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm talk to you soon. Pray for me because I'm praying for you. And we're going to persevere through this thing called life together. Until next time, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Holla at you later.